Have you ever wondered which side of the boat is riding the waves higher in the cryptocurrency market? Institutional investors or retail ones? Let me tell you a tale of two markets where one sets sail with Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, while the other stays anchored. And it's the same way that self once upon a time in the land of Wall Street, the year was 2024, the arrival of Bitcoin ETFs marked a grand occasion, heralding a new era for institutional investors. These deep-pocketed whales holding vast fortunes in Bitcoin seized the opportunity to expand their horizons. They embarked on a buying spree, acquiring an astonishing quarter of a million Bitcoins through these newly minted financial vessels. Uh, hedge funds led the charge, followed closely by pension funds. Millennium Management, a renowned name in finance, plunged billions in a Bitcoin ETFs. Even public pensions joined the fray, with the state of Wisconsin making a bold move with a substantial investment. A tide turning, yet caution prevails. As the sun set on the U.S. shores, the excitement surrounding Bitcoin ETFs reached fever pitch. Record-breaking inflows sent ripples throughout the crypto realm, pushing prices skyward. However, as the moon rose, so did questions. Is the surge really a flash in the pan? Or were we witnessing a genuine shift in sentiment towards Bitcoin? Now uh, that the investment experts began to speculate, suggesting that perhaps the initial wave had been uh, driven by a select group of enthusiasts. As weeks passed, inflows slowed, uh, hinting at a more measured approach from institutions. And I might also know that the greatest major said, hey, uh, in your mental health in term deal with that problem and with record writers uh, spend more time, in my opinion, for a risk that uh, the Asian market still needed convincing. Uh, and retail investors stay ashore. Back on our home turf, the absence of retail investors became increasingly noticeable. Data showed a decline in the formation of new Bitcoin addresses indicating a drop in individual participation. Why were they reluctant to join the party? Some lingering doubts from the FTX debacle, market corrections, or simply the complexity of ETS. Only time would tell. With that said, thanks for tuning in to my tale of the evolving cryptocurrency landscape. Until next time, and remember, always keep one hand on your anchor when navigating the seas of Bitcoin. Oh, and here's a little joke for you. Why don't Bitcoin whales swim in salt water? Because they prefer BT coin.